are the tools and materials that will be used in making electric motor. Sandpaper Glue gun Stick glue Connecting rod, plywood, and switch DC battery Magnet Number 32 magnetic wire Plier Cutter and long nose plier Alligator clip with insulated wire Using number 16 magnetic wire, our experiment of simple electric motor, the armature failed to rotate as you can see in the video. Then we try to use another magnetic wire which is number 22 and finally the armature successfully rotates. This is our finished product of simple electric motor. The important parts of our simple electric motor are the following. Battery. Serve as the power supply of simple electric motor. Switch. Serve as switching device of simple electric motor to connect and disconnect circuit. Alligator clip and wire serve as the connector from battery to switch and connecting rod. Permanent magnet serve as electric field of the simple electric motor. And lastly, armature serve as the current travel through the coil created. The metal, needles, and wire created a closed-loop circuit can carry current. Current flows from the negative terminal of the battery through the circuit and to the positive terminal of the battery. Current in a closed loop also creates its own magnetic field, which you can determine by the right-hand rule. Making a thumbs-up sign with your right hand, the thumb points in the direction of the current, and the curve of the fingers shows which way the magnetic field is oriented. In our case, current travels through the coil you created, which is called the armature of the motor. This current induces a magnetic field in the coil, which helps explain why the coil spins. Magnet have two poles, north and south. North-south interactions stick together and north-north and south-south interactions repel each other. 
because the magnetic field created by the current in the wire is not perpendicular to the magnet tape to the battery. At least some part of the wire's magnetic field will repel and cause the coil to continue to spin. So why do we need to remove the insulation from only one side of the wire? We need a way to periodically break the circuit so that it pulses on and off in time with the rotation of the coil. Otherwise, the copper coil's magnetic field would align with the magnet magnetic field and stop moving because both fields would attract each other. The way we set up our engine makes it so that whenever a current is moving through the coil, the coil is in a good position to be repelled by the stationary magnet's magnetic field. Whenever the coil isn't being actively repelled, momentum carries it around until it's in the right position to complete the circuit. Induce a new magnetic field and be repelled by the stationary magnet again. Once moving, the coil can continue to spin until the battery is dead. The reason that the magnet only spins in one direction is because spinning in the wrong direction will not cause the magnetic field to repel each other but attract. 